What's up YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan and I thought it was about time I showed you guys my uh, entire collection of Swiss Army knives. Um, this is going to be a two-part video and um, yeah I figured it was a good uh, stopping point for me and uh, in this first video we're going to cover um, my ALOX and then two layer 91 millimeters, some sub, uh, 74 millimeters and some 58 millimeters um, and I'll try not to waste too much time and I'll just get right into it here um, we'll start here with a 1954 soldier um, I do have a soldier video so if you want to see more information about these um, check out that video um, it's under my you know, I, I don't waste time. <laughs> I don't do the links and all that stuff. So, you know, just go to my channel and everything you got is right there. Everything I got is right there. So that's a 1954 Venger. And the tank stamp is interesting on this one. It says Vengery Knox. Um, hopefully you can see that. Kind of a weird angle right here. Yeah, there it is. Um, but yeah, this is called the 1951 Soldier Model. Um, and this is the 1954 version where they changed this um, little hollow rivet right there to make that metal a little bit thicker. But pretty cool knife. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it's got this old style can opener on it, which is pretty tough to get out, but it's pretty cool. So, yeah, and then in 1961, um, they changed over to this ALAC soldier. And Vanger delivered... Uh, ALAC soldiers in 61, but Victorinox didn't. They did, they waited till 1962. This is neither of those years, though. This is 1965. And this is pretty much like the last year they did this red. Um, I think they did that 61 to 65, or, or maybe even to 66, and then switched over to all um, silver like this one. You'll find years after 65 or 66 with red scales when they're using old stock you know using old scales but they decided to go over this i guess because um you know it doesn't patina so easily but you know i think these uh, age really well and you know i think uh, it was like a stand out in the snow type of idea with um making them red so anyway yeah and they they have this wk stamp on them uh, which means like uh, Waffen control, weapons control, um, saying they're up to spec. So, yeah, and here's uh, the next one is a 77 Victor Knox. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that's the old cross, and in 77, they decided to go to this style cross. Um, so you'll find 77s both ways, this way and this way. And then Here's the new, uh, you know, they had to change the stamp when they changed the size of that thing. So here's the new uh, WK stamp. It'll focus. Yeah, there it is. That um, they used, I guess, from about 77 up till 88 when the Swiss military was like, you know, you guys have been killing it. Don't worry about putting that little box on there. We know that they're good. We trust you. Here's another um, one like that. I don't think I showed you the tank stamps on these. These are both 81s, and they're special to me because they're uh, my birth year. I just told you how old I am there. But, um, yeah, both in pretty decent shape, used shape. Not excellent or, like, next to new or anything, but uh, awesome, awesome knives. I try not to spend too much money on individual knives, but um let's see you know these these three one two three and um actually all four of these i bought individually and i did pay a little bit more than i usually do for them just because i wanted them and they're special i didn't pay you know i, I was still eating that week and everything but whatever these things can get expensive and that's why i do stay away from like the limited editions and stuff like that they don't really interest me anyway i'm more about like the rugged knives the ones that the soldiers used uh the ones that people loved and used over the years so much you know not not so much interested in like the limited runs of 50 i mean even though they're awesome knives 
I just never would never see myself paying, you know, the price for uh, for those knives. But if you do and you can afford them, man, more power to you. Those things are awesome. Um, I've seen a few of them up close, and they are uh, very beautiful knives. But anyway, here is a, a soldier, and um, it's it's an eighty three. So yeah, I got kind of a run here. There was I don't know if I showed you the tank stamp on this eighty two. But yeah, 82, 83, 81, 82, 83. One comes next is a 84. Victorinox, 85. Then we go to 89. This is a Vanger with the uh, the plate for the Buffing Controller stamp. You'll see that Vanger's stamps are not real, real consistent over the years, while Victorinox are pretty consistent. Here's an 89, um, and you, you'll also notice that Victorinox weigh a little bit more than the Vanger's 91. Um, here's a 94 with keyring, 94 without keyring, and here's a 94 Vanger, and it doesn't have a bail or a keyring, so I guess it's a soldier issue, I'm thinking. Here's a, a 99 Vanger with a bail, a civilian issue. A 99 Vic. That's civilian issue too. Someone's name. Someone's name is in that. Here's a 90. I mean an 01 Victorinox. Seems like Victorinox stamp did just get a little bit more robust in these later years. Uh, and here's a really shallow uh, 01. I'm not shallow, but just small. It's actually kind of deep stamp on the Vanger. Then we've got an 03 Victorinox. 05, 08, and then Vanger kept making them even after that. And so, this is one of those years they don't have a stamp with a fail. Here's a Dutch Army knife, it's just like the Pioneer and the Soldier. Nothing on this, uh, you get the year right there. It's a 92, as you can see. Here's a Trooper. This was like the German Army knives. It's 108 millimeter and it's really cool. It's got this hobo tool on it. There's a saw under this little plate. Here's a uh, a couple old school uh, Pioneer Sturdy Boys from probably the 80s. Um, here's a, an electrician from the 80s, and it's got the uh, oop, electrician's uh, blade. That's what makes an electrician pretty cool. Old cross on that too. Then we jump to the new cross. Here's a, uh, a good old regular farmer. Here's a farmer that I EDC here. It's the same farmer. You know what makes it a farmer is the addition of the saw. If not, it's a pioneer. Um, here's a green, hundred green farmer. Black farmer. All right. Then I like these these models a lot. So I got a green pioneer and the colors. A black Pioneer. Here's a regular silver Pioneer that I EDC. Here's an old regular silver Pioneer. Here's a medium gray Pioneer. It's just a little bit darker than that silver. Here's a Pioneer Settler. This is in green. 91. Um, old cross, this is called the Popular. It's just got the two little blades. Got two of those, one with key ring, one without. Pretty neat. Um, here, these are the only two cadets that I have, and this is the Autumn Orange. This is the regular silver. Here we have two 91, pre 91 golfers. They're 91 millimeter golfers without the hook. So they were made before 91 ish. And uh, yeah, they were called the golfer at that point. Once they added that hook, they started calling it the compact. And here's a few compacts that I have. And the compact is great. I just love the compact. A couple of these are brand new. Um, a lot of these knives are brand new, but I took them out of the box here. And here we'll go to the Tinker. There's a ruby red. There's a black Tinker. Um, Red Tinker, some with can keys, some without. Um, another Tinker, 
Tinker, tinker, tinker. Here's a tinker that's missing a scale. That's the special edition, limited run right there. Um, and actually, here's a, a tinker from like the late 90s, early 2000s. It's got the nylon scales. New in the blister pack. Then we move on to the Spartan. I really like Spartans. Here's the, uh, I want to get an older Spartan, but this is a pretty old Spartan. It's probably early 70s, late, late 60s with the, uh, you know, the five turn, turn corkscrew, which I think is about like a 71 feature, and the, uh, the clip point blade, which is 73. Here's another older kind of pioneer, I'd say probably the 70s. It's got the nickel silver inlay, you know, no, no, uh, stop, half stop on the, on the bottle opener screwdriver. Here's another one just like it without the key ring. Um, here's another one. It's a little bit later because I think it's stainless steel without the key ring. Um, I'm pretty sure this is, yep, yeah, this is an Elinox stamp with key ring. It's kind of like the economy. It's probably made in the late 70s or so. Here's one with the German, I mean a Swiss hiking club. No key ring, no toothpick tweezers. No, stupid, no toothpick and tweezers on this one either, but it does have the key ring. Um, and it's just like an older, no stop. All these are going to be pre-85 into the 70s. This one's got a date on it. It's, uh, 1985 it's there. This one's interesting. It does no key ring, only the toothpick. Here's a Spartan 2 with uh, nylon scales on it. Pretty cool. Here's just two black Spartans, you know, from early 2000s, late 90s. Here's a green one from that era red one from that era. Um, here's a, actually, there we go. These are two uh, we, weekenders when they have the serrated edge on there, the serrated blade, they're called weekenders. One's in kind of rough shape. Um, here's another economy. It's got the half stop, so it's post 85. No, uh, no scale tools, but the key ring. Here's one with the key ring. I think this is the MacGyver. Yeah, because it's got a fluted corkscrew and it's got a hole in the reamer punch. So it's probably that 8591. That's MacGyver Spartan. Magra, it's an inlay, no key ring, scale tools. Here's the EDC Spartan here. Regular old Spartan. Here's another regular old Spartan. I just got a couple of spares. I give these to people and stuff. Figure that Spartan's a good classic model to share with people. Here's one. I'm probably going to take that off, but just a white Spartan. On the back, it's got the uh, Victorinox logo. Here's one with the German flag. Here's uh, two Acon I mean, uh, Spartan Pluses. One's got soft touch scales. One's got regular ruby scales. This is soft touch ruby. This, so I guess they put these coating on this, these scales and they make it soft touch. Pretty cool. And here's one that's uh, missing a, <laughs> a, you know, I didn't want to, uh, you know, leave anything out. I'll show you guys because everybody's got some, some ugly dirty they don't want to show, but I didn't want to leave them out of this video. So we're moving right along here. We got 74 millimeters. We've got one, two, three, four executives. Um, oh, I'm, I'm missing an executive here. Where is it? And I knew I was going to leave one out, but I know I've got an older uh, Hoffritz executive. It's probably under one of these boxes somewhere. Goodness gracious, I can't believe I left that out. I'm really, really upset about that. Goodness gracious. I'll put it in the next video. I'll put it in the next video. But here's some executives. Uh, we've got um, executive white, red. This is an ambassador. Oh, no, sorry. This is an ambassador. It's just a one layer, so it doesn't have the orange peeler and, you know, an additional blade on it. And here's a black Alox executive, probably from the 70s. The older executives, they have only a single leaf spring, which is pretty cool. So there's my 74 millimeters, minus one, which I'm really upset about. I'll just buzz through these uh, 58 millimeters real quick. Got a couple classics here, white. Um... Here is one with a cool logo. It says the mountains are calling and I must go. It's pretty sweet. I don't have a bunch of these. I've been told this is translucent orange here. I've got an Alex red classic. 
There's one that's they call this Edelweiss. Um, ruby translucent scales. Um, this one would be a Rambler. It's got oh I'm sorry actually this is a Rover because it a Rambler has the um, Phillips right there, and this one has a little fine flathead. So this one's called a Rover. Actually, you know what? This is not a Rover. This is a Rogue because it's a two layer. So it's more like the Rambler, but it's the Rogue. The uh, Rover will be more like the Classic, I believe. <laughs> oh no, I hope I don't misspeak. Everybody's going to hate me. Um, this is a Manager. I'm confident in that's name. Uh, another Classic um, Ruby. Here's a classic signature with a little pen on it. Um, here's a mini champ. Is that a mini champ signature? I'm not sure. Uh, another one of those. I really like this model. It's like so good to have it on your keychain. Um, another. Uh, this one is actually a. This is the rover here. The other one is the rogue. This is the rover with the fly fine there. So it's the other one I was getting confused with is a rally. This is the bijou. It just doesn't have the uh, the key ring on it. So yeah, um, here's a yellow rambler. Oh, Ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah. Proof is in the pudding and the pella. Um, a green manager emerald. I'm sorry, uh, emerald classic. This cool color, I don't know, there's probably a name for it. It's green. Didn't like this teal, which is nice. It's classic. Actually, this is, uh, these are rovers too. And uh, one of these has an emergency blade. Yep, it's this one, which is kind of cool. Um, here's a blue translucent. What do they call that? Sapphire or something? Uh, Classic. Here's the classic light here. Pretty cool. It's a blue Rambler with a choice and Reliance Natural. I guess that's a bank or something. Blue classic. Blue manager. So yeah, that's the first half of my collection now. So if you guys have any other, and I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time talking about the detail. If you made it this far and you still have questions about any of this stuff or dating stamps any of that stuff just shoot me an email or a comment you can email me at swissarmydan at gmail.com like comment subscribe share be a good person i'm out of here